The Eagles have not announced and will not announce that Nick Sirianni is returning as the head coach. The belief there is that functional organizations don't need to tell the world that their head coach, who won double-digit games, is returning. Take that, Dallas Cowboys. The only thing we're getting is an announcement from the Eagles that Nick Sirianni will hold his end-of-season press conference tomorrow. Now, I am surprised that they managed to kick the can nine days after their exit from the playoffs. I think there was some stuff going on last week that they just as soon weren't ready to put Nick Sirianni in front of reporters. And this was really smart. Sharina kind of took some of the steam out of the room, this idea that Sirianni was inevitably going to be out. And now tomorrow he and GM Howie Roseman will meet with reporters and answer a few questions. I assume one or two of which will deal with Sirianni's job status moving forward. Well, and no coaches are going to be on a hotter hot seat going into next season than Nick Sirianni and Mike McCarthy. I mean, NFC East coaches who are under fire now, they they do get to return and they get to try to get over that hump and, and, and prove that they're worthy of keeping their jobs next year. But they both face huge seasons, Mike. And, and you know, with Sirianni, the two coordinators leaving, you do wonder how much was Sirianni – them going to the Super Bowl, and how much was those coordinators? Because, boy, they missed both of those coordinators this year. They're going to have two new coordinators next year. Whoever those guys are need to help Nick Sirianni save his job because they're going to be under a lot of pressure. Which makes it harder to hire the best coordinators because they know coming yeah. in the weight of the world that will be on their shoulders. You get, for a second straight year, Two new coordinators. If it doesn't work out this time, everybody's gone. And even if you have, you know, buyout under your contract or whatever, you still don't want to spend this year in that market where there is that intensity, that urgency to get another Super Bowl win. And they had a taste of being elite this year when they were 10-1 and one before it all fell apart. It's just a bad situation. And they're trying their best to keep Nick Sirianni out of the hot seat or at least to minimize the impression he's on it. He clearly is going to be one of the shortlist guys. When we approach the 2024 season and we're asked inevitably who's on the hot seat entering this year, you're right. Mike McCarthy, Nick Sirianni, right out of the gates. No question about it. Now, two coordinators need to be found. They haven't officially moved on from Brian Johnson yet, but we all assume they will. They have moved on from Sean Desai. Reportedly, Ron Rivera the former commander's head coach and Panthers head coach before that, a two-time coach of the year, took a team to a Super Bowl, will interview to be the defensive coordinator of the Philadelphia Eagles, proving that Rivera was telling the truth when he said he still wants to coach, and I credit him for that. And I credit Nick Sirianni with the willingness, if he hires him, to bring in somebody who's got a lot more experience than he does because sometimes it's helpful to have someone like that around when things are going tough and you need to figure out what you need to say to the locker room to get everybody pointed in the right direction again. Yeah, they've gone with these young coordinators two times in a row, and now they're looking at the more veteran guy uh, in Ron Rivera. And I think that would be great for Nick Sirianni to have somebody to bounce things off of, to have Rivera not be scared to say, that's not what we need to do, or you need to do this, or can I suggest this, or how, whatever it is. I just think it would be great for him to have that voice and that ear uh, for him. They're also interviewing Mike, Mike Caldwell, uh, former Jaguars guy. It, it, it's interesting because Ron Rivera runs a 4-3 and Mike Cod Caldwell runs a 3-4. So which direction are they going to go? I think the defensive coordinator hire will tell us how they're going to work this defense going forward. But they've got to get to the quarterback better than what they did last season, led the league two years ago, couldn't get to the quarterback this year. The numbers are astounding, the difference in numbers. When you said Ron Rivera runs a 4-3, I thought, damn, that's fast for an old guy. But then I understood <laughs> what you were talking about. Um, by the way, by the way, as we're having this conversation, Jeff McClain of the Philadelphia Inquirer has tweeted that Brian Johnson will not be back as the offensive coordinator of the Philadelphia Eagles, to no one's surprise. Jim Bob. So Come Nick on, Sirianni Jim Bob. and the Eagles will be hiring two new coordinators. And yes, Jim Bob Cooter's name was mentioned over the weekend, which is odd because he's the offensive coordinator in Indianapolis. You get into these weird things like if they're willing to let him go, that's not exactly a ringing endorsement of Jim Bob Cooter. If he's under contract with the Colts to be their offensive coordinator, they're like, yeah, we're fine. See you later, Jim Bob. 
Not necessarily a great thing for the Philadelphia Eagles, but a lot of pressure on Nick Sirianni. Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk.